Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Xue Yang. Come from Southwest Jiao Tong University in China. It is a great honor to represent the collaborators attending today's meeting. I will give a presentation of our accepted paper, An Accuracy Nurses Perturbation Methods for Defending Privacy Attacks in Federated Learning, which includes the following four, three aspects. And in this paper, we proposed an efficient model perturbation method to prevent clients from ob obtaining true global model parameters and local gradients. And the main contribution includes that uh, we address the nonlinear activation functions on the per perturbed domain and can defend against reconstruction attacks and the inference attacks launched by semi-trusted clients. And remain the same model accuracy as the non-private training scheme, like the famous federated learning method fit average. And although fit Federated learning improves the privacy of local training data by exchanging model updates like local gradients or updated parameters rather than raw data from a privacy angle. Sharing even the model updates is a well known privacy risk. For example, the work published in LIPS shows that adversaries can recover original image with the exchanged gradients, hence to defend against inference attacks launched by curious clients. Many schemes adopt differential privacy due to its theoretical guarantee of privacy protection and no computational complexity. However, differential privacy has to sacrifice the model accuracy to ensure the privacy. That is, face the trade-off between accuracy and privacy. Thus, design an efficient privacy preserving scheme applied to federated learning, which ensures robustness to inference attacks, while maintaining a high learning accuracy remains an open problem. Um, for this purpose, we present an efficient accuracy perturbation method. The framework of our method includes three phases, global model perturbation, local model training, and global model update. First, the server selects the secret numbers to mask the true global model and distributes it to all clients. Then each client performs local model training with local training data to get the perturbed local gradients. Finally, the server aggregates all local gradients and recovers the aggregation with the secret random numbers. Next, I will show the details of each phase. In the global model perturbation, the server randomly selects L minus one noise multiplicative vectors R1 to RL minus one belong to the positive real number field and an additive vector Ra with pairs different components and a random coefficient gamma, then compute R equals to gamma multiply Ra. Um, for the two model parameters W, the server computes the noise model W hat as follows. Mm, where the circle symbol represents the HADMA product, the big R and the big RA, big RA mm, are satisfied the following equations. Finally, the server keeps R1 to RL minus one and the gamma secret and send the W hat and RA to all clients. Then each client performs local model training like the normal deep model training process. Um, for our design, the noise output Y hat and the true output Y satisfies 
these equations. And due to the noise output, the MSE loss is changed to the noise MSE. And thus, the gradients are satisfied with number two. And note that uh, delta and beta are computed by clients. Um, finally, seek, uh, each client CK computes the average local gradients for mini batch and uh, uh, the corresponding two uh, noise in terms, delta and beta. After that, each client uploads um, the average local gradients and the true noise in terms to the server. After receiving the uploads, the server first performs aggregated, aggregated operation and recovers the true aggregation based on zero true. The, uh, the server uses the secret noise R, L, gamma, and V, and performs these equations to recover the true aggregated aggregation. And then the server updates the current global model for the next iterations. And in order to show the efficiency of our method, we conduct extensive experiments in terms of learning accuracy and inference differences. We first e evaluate the learning accuracy of regression task on the UBMD dataset in terms of different layers, L, belongs to 3, 5, 7, and different numbers of clients key can be 1, 5, 10. And table 1 shows results of these schemes for the final convergent model. Fit average is a non-private um, federated learning method, and the other three are use a different defense method to uh, perform the privacy. Table one shows the results of these schemes for the fiber convergence model. From the table, the learning accuracy of our method elegantly aligns with that of the fit average. Under various settings and outperforms the other three related defense methods. We also evaluate our method for the classification task with ResNet 20, ResNet 32, and ResNet 56 models on the ARDC and the CFA 10 datasets. From table two, we can um, obtain the learning accuracy of our method elegantly aligns with the fit average and has significant advantages over other defense methods. We also evaluate the performance of different defense against state-of-the-art privacy attacks, that is, reconstruction attacks and the membership inference attacks launched by curious clients. The membership inference attacks means that the attack model takes the final prediction or intermediate output as input and outputs two classes, member or non-member. Table 4 shows that our method achieves the best learning accuracy while maintaining the strongest defensibility compared with other methods. Specifically, our method achieves a tax success rate of around 15%, which means clients cannot infer any information from model up outputs except blind guessing. However, the attack success rate of other defense methods is around 16%, which means that clients have a certain advantages to attack successfully compared with bad guessing. And the reconstruction attack means that recover original training data as accurately as possible from the exchanged model parameters and the calculated gradients. And here we uh, evaluate the defensibility of a reconstruction attacks on LDC and CFA 10 datasets and use three metrics to show the results. 
um, the three metrics are a uh, tax success rate. That is the prediction accuracy of the attack model over the reconstructed image. And the future, future distance, the future distance between the reconstructed image and the searchroid of the target class and the key nearest neighborhood distance, which means that the air, air true distance of the closest data point from the train state to the reconstructed image. And from the table five, we can show that our method achieves dominant advantage in all three metrics compared with fit average, PPDL, SPL, and DC, DBCL. Uh, this is my presentation. Thank you for your listening. All right. Uh, thank you. Shay, am I right? Am I pronouncing correctly? Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any questions from the audience? Hi, Shay. Sure. Oh, uh, I have a question. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your presentation. Uh, I just uh, want, could you please go back to the uh, page nine? I oh. just want to make sure the, the, the local there. training, what was it did you do in the local training? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I, I will open it. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean the paper. I mean the. I mean, I mean the slides. Uh, yes. I. Oh, so you you yeah, didn't see the slides. Slide. Share the slides. Yeah, yeah, I mean the slide. Yeah, this one. Um, uh, my question is, um, what it? I have not quite understand what the perturbation it uh, can be understood in the equations. In which part of the equation that the perturbation was added? Oh, here, here. We uh, first, the server perturbates the global model parameters here. Oh, in the application oh. of, of the global model. Yes, and then the server sends this model, perturbated model to clients. So clients cannot see the true model. Uh, okay, yeah. when, the, when, the, when the local model finish their training, they just uh, send the original parameters to the global model, right? Yeah. Okay, I see. Um, and my, uh, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm a little curious about uh, if there are any rules of the attacks that the proposed method can defend. In other words, is there any sacri sacrifice of this method? Uh, you mean sacrifice? Yeah, yes, uh, yeah, from my, from my understanding, just like the um, differential privacy, it has some sacrifice because uh, uh, it uh, keeps the privacy, but uh, it has some sacrifice. And my, my curiosity is about the proposed perturbation method. Does it mm -hmm. have some sacrifice or some drawbacks? Uh, because it, it reaches the, uh, another, it reaches another objective that it can, uh, preserve the privacy. Oh, because the uh, in our uh, method, the server can uh, the server has the um, secret random number, and with this, with the lemma two, lemma two, uh, if if you have R big R and uh, gamma delta V beta, and you can recover this true venue, you can recover this true venue. So um, the server has the, um, the server has the um, secret noise R, gamma and V, so he can recover the true uh, aggregated gradients. So uh, this scheme can uh, ensure the accuracy and uh, also can privacy the privacy from the curious clients. I see. Mm. Uh, did you get your answer? 
Thank you, Anne. Yeah, I think to some extent, yes. Thank you. But really, but oh, sorry, I, I, um, I want to, I want to um, query about what is the drawbacks of this method. From the oh, results, we can see that uh, it can preserve a very good privacy. It can also reach a good accuracy of the model mm -hmm. training. So, is there any drawbacks of this of this method? Um. We just considered the curious clients, and we uh, assume the server is um, honest. So if we want to um, go and design a more um, better method, and we should consider the server is also um, honest but curious. Yeah. I see. So under this current assumption, it, it is a very good method. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>